everyone. Today I'm at Radio Disney with Candace on air, and this is On Spot Interviews. Hi, Candace. It's so great to officially meet you today. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. Good to meet you. Thank you. So, of course, we're here at Radio Disney. You have a huge role on Radio Disney. I feel like I've said Radio Disney like 20 times already. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. That's what I do for my job. Exactly. And I feel the same way. So, so tell us uh, exactly what you do. Um, well, I host a live show on Radio Disney Monday through Saturday. Um, that's the major part of my job is hosting the live show. But other than that, I'll do red carpet events. We'll host um, movie premieres, movie junkets, everything you can think of. I've done everything from broadcasts from a cruise to Aulani in Hawaii. I've been all over the country, so all sorts of things. Yeah. So what's been um, your favorite place to travel on behalf of Radio Disney so far? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I have a real soft spot for Hawaii. So Disney's Aulani flew me out there to broadcast for three days, almost two years ago. Okay. And that was my first time to Hawaii, which was also a dream for me since I was probably four. So <laughs> that's probably the top of my list. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's incredible. And it's Hawaii, so... It's, it's just beautiful, there, it's sunny, there's the beach, it's a wonderful yeah. place to be. So I can understand why that would be your answer. Yes. Um, and of course, uh, I've seen you take a lot of selfies with super cool people. I've <laughs> seen them on your Instagram. So who's been your favorite um, person to meet and interview so far? Okay, people ask me this question all the time, and I feel like my answer changes sometimes. Really? But I will say Ed Sheeran was really fun to meet. He probably interviewed me for 20 minutes before the actual interview. <laughs> really? Yeah, so I have to say Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran, awesome. Yeah. And anyone, like, of course, it's Radio Disney, we got to be professional, but anyone you, like, fangirl for after the fact? Um, after the fact, I probably fangirled quite a bit after interviewing Pharrell. Yeah. Um, just because he's such a huge star and, like, mm -hmm. the things he says just blow your mind, so probably Pharrell, yeah. I love him. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. And um, I saw he just did an event with UB and the I Am Other um, campaign. So, yeah, he's, he's so great because he truly uses his platform to better the world. And I think that's so important when you have Absolutely. that in the moment. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, of course, we have a lot of other Radio Disney team members like Chase and Leela. Who are you closest with? Um, Closest with? Uh, on air, I'd probably say Nate. Um, just because we sort of have a similar schedule, our mm -hmm. roles are more similar than people like Leela, who's brand new. Yeah. Um, Maddie and Chase are brand new as well, so we're sort of like the long-term um, people here at Radio Disney. And also Daniel. Um, are you guys interviewing Daniel? Yes, uh, for okay. Radio Disney Sports, yes. I think yeah. he's after you, actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Probably Nate and Daniel, just because they've been here longer than any of the, mm -hmm. the newbies. Yeah, so how many years total now have you? Um, almost nine years. Yeah, so I've seen a lot. So had a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that means you were here when, like, Justin Bieber would come in and stuff. I have to ask, how was that experience? Like, was there a lot of security when that happened? Like, did fans find out, or how did that work? Um, well, I actually was the first person to ever play Justin's song oh, on okay. the radio, which was, I mean, probably seven and a half years ago. So the first time he came in, nobody knew who he was. He had his really shaggy hair. He was kind of just like awkward, like <laughs> this young kid. Um, but cut to, you know, two years ago when he came in, or even a year ago. And yeah, it's a whole different ball game. Mm -hmm. Security's pretty tight. You have fans who show up because they just know they, the schedule. Yeah. <laughs> you can follow him online too, and like, you know, he'll say, I'm here. So, yeah, exactly. Um, we've seen him come in on um, a Segway before. <laughs> That guy's a riot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's when Alex Simpson interviewed him, actually. I think. It might have been. Yeah, because yeah. I, I remember on Twitter all the fans were tweeting about it, so I think I know um, what, you're, what you're referring to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, of course, uh, you, as a host for Radio Disney, you know, you take calls, you get to interact with the fans of the show. So, um, what's been, what's your favorite thing to hear, or, um, yeah, what's your favorite thing to hear from a caller? Um... Probably just that they laughed at something I said or enjoyed an interview. Part of like my job is bringing sort of that fan um, sort of question to an interview. So I, in my mind, I'm thinking, what do the fans want to know? Exactly. Can I get that answer or that reaction out of whoever I'm interviewing? Mm -hmm. So the best part is I really liked your interview with so-and-so. I had fun or they answered my question. That's always fun, too, to bring fans and artists together. I agree. 
Because that's one of the hardest things as a fan to do. It is. And, yeah, I mean, both of us, you know, if we have this blessing and this opportunity to interview them. So, of course, you know, it should be something we would want to do to somehow incorporate the fans through those fan questions and make them feel just a little bit closer to their favorite star, even if they're, you know, halfway around the world. Totally. So, totally. For sure. So, anything coming up uh, with Lakers this season? Um, well, we have a couple of big things coming up at the end of August. We have Arthur Ashe Kids Day in New York. Yes, with Troye Sivan. Yes. Uh, there's a whole list of people who are going to be there. Um, we have the show of the summer coming up this weekend. And then we're getting uh, closer to the iHeartRadio Music Festival, which is in September, which is one of my favorites because oh, there's just so many it. artists out there, and it's like two days. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a lot of fun, so... Well, that's so exciting. A lot of great events and uh, stuff like that coming up for you. So for everyone to keep up with that and see your selfies with Demi Lovato and all <laughs> that great stuff, can we have your social media handles? Yeah, it's Candice on Air. And you can find me on uh, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. It's all the same. Facebook, Candice on Air. Perfect. Very easy. Thank you for keeping them all the same. <laughs> it took me a while. It took oh, me a while. Sure. It's, a, it's a process. It is. <laughs> yeah. Well, Candice, so good to uh, officially meet you in person, and I hope to see you again at future events. Thank you. Great to meet you. Yes, you too.